Please welcome the man behind this magic. Dennis Prescott is here, everybody. Hello, hello, Dennis. hello, hi. Welcome. Yeah. Hi. These pictures look so incredible. Thank you. Guys, take a look at a couple more. So we've got a picture of a kind of deconstructed pavlova. Oh, like, these I are mean, amazing. That, a party platter going on here. That looks a lot like... better than the plastic grocery store party trays I put out <laughs> in my that's what I That's what I made for New Year's, actually, that last one. Oh, wow. We have a New Year's party at my house. Well, thanks for the invite. We got the invite 2019? Yeah, yeah, 2019. Next year, Everybody. next year. Everybody's there. Well, it's hard for us to get to your parties. You're, you're from Moncton, New Brunswick. Yes. Uh, and is it true you have no cooking training, no formal photography training? How did you get started? Yeah, no, uh, I was a musician for about 10 years and I lived on the road and lived that very cool. glamorous rock star life and slept on an air mattress for two <laughs> years. Mm -hmm. and, and a friend suggested, you, you should take care of yourself. You should learn how to cook. And I said, I don't know how to do that. Go to the library and get cookbooks out. Oh, And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I totally. went, I brought cookbooks out and I started cooking my way through them. And I became just so passionate about food. Cool. And I started taking photos of my journey to document the food process. Uh, and then this exact same friend said, you should start an Instagram account. Great. Yeah. And now you have almost half a million Instagram followers. So Which just is... like that, just like that. It's amazing. Thanks, thanks for making it look so easy, by the way, Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Anyone can just learn how to cook and be amazing. It's amazing. All you um, need is passion. All you need is passion. Dennis, your work is amazing. And today you're going to show us how to perk up our party platters. Yes. Right? Yes. I was going to say, these look pretty good as is. <laughs> they do. But you're going to make them look the next level. Like yeah, 100%. Incredible. You can take these and elevate it to this next level where not only does it taste incredible, but it looks beautiful. Cool. Now, there is a secret ingredient that doesn't involve food. What do you use to help set the mood? Yeah, so the best thing, I'm a musician, food and music are the universal languages. So if you can put music yeah. on that gets you inspired to cook, it's the best thing in the world. Oh. Okay, music that gets you inspired to cook and or free music from our stock library. <laughs> Roll music! <laughs> Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's got a nice little lounging. 1950s oh, cocktail party. What is oh, this? Oh, that's how I lounge. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi there. This is charcuterie music. Hey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cocktail in hand. Oh, hi there. Oh, that's right. wow. You want that? Have you tried the prosciutto? Smoky, dark lit restaurant vibe. You've got a nice martini Snap. or a glass of wine, <laughs> and you're you're in the mood. You're good to go. Okay. Did you just make fun of my dancing? I was lounging. You're snapping. I was getting okay. the olives um, into my soul. I'm ready to go. 100%. So you have three specific tips. Yes. The first is color separation. Yes, yeah. If you put all the colors together, if you've got all your greens and all your reds in one place, they start to kind of blend together. So right. then you go, is it a piece of arugula? Is it basil? Is it spinach? I kind of don't know. Okay, so I should so, separate okay. these reds, for example, is what separate you mean. Separate the colors. Right. Okay. Okay. Now we can cut these things. We can, we're just, we're doing what oh, we Oh, that's a good idea. 100%. Sure. You guys okay. are doing amazing. Color so separation. I, okay, and then the next tip is odd numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers will always look better than even numbers. So if you can yeah. style in groups of three, five, seven, okay. 17, whatever it is, it will always look better. And it's just having a little bit of, uh, a little bit of thoughtfulness in styling beforehand. Okay. So I'll put I three little mounds of grapes here. Right. Okay, Jess, you're looking pretty good Thank so far. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're I think. Uh, you working on the little, color I'm working, I'm working. And then the last one is, this one's unusual. You say go from top left to bottom right. Yes, yeah. So what does that mean? I learned this from, from uh, the painting world and the art, the art world, but when you look at a, at a photograph or a painting, visually, you don't realize you're doing it, but you look at it from the top left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner. Oh. You do that with your television, you do that with your smartphone, it, it doesn't matter, you just naturally just do naturally it. Just naturally, I do that. So if you left. know that, then you can style your boards in a way where you're bringing the viewer's eye across the actual frame, and then what that does. You're wow. giving them all these different interesting things to discover. Exactly. How long does it take you to style a, a, a photograph from, from cooking right. to, to finished product? It depends if I'm feeding people, because people want to eat hot food and they want to eat it quickly. Oh, so sure. you're not just <laughs> making these for Instagram. You're no, actually- No, no, I feed You eat good. good. We try, we oh, try wow. to make a, We try to have a full table every night. We really need to make friends we with Dennis. We really need to make you know friends with Dennis. Like, so, Dennis, how's mine looking? Dinner. Can you help me here? Does this? Is there any way to improve this? Color separation, yeah. odd numbers, like what would you do? Just spread it out. See how, how uh, Jesse's board, it's, it's a little bit spread out. It's not all in the Jesse's middle. Jesse's board. And see how it looks like you just kind of put stuff there? Jesse's board yeah, looks everybody. great. It is. Better, better dancer. Better, better dancer, styler. better styler. I can't do that, that's for sure. Okay, can I show the one you 100%. did? I want to show the one you did yeah. earlier. Yeah. Hopefully it's as good as Jesse's. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Wow. It's oh. incredible. It's so thoughtful. Like, everything is done by design. Yeah. And, and you definitely don't need to be a professional 
to yeah. do this. But at the end of the day, it needs to taste incredible. You gotta eat it. Right. Well, Recent first you polls. have to photograph it. Of course. Sorry, I was about internet. to bite into Okay, it. this is. Can I steal this from my Instagram page, Dennis? Of course. Please Perfect. do. Perfect. Thank you so much. And now he's teaching us how to take store bought dips yes. to a whole new level. I mean, store bought dips can be very beautiful, but there are a few things we can do to liven them up, freshen them up, and give cool. them a little mm -hmm. bit of life. And then also our personal kind of creativity yeah. can go into them. So we've got a beautiful uh, crudite platter that's yes. almost ready to go. Tzatziki, there's already dill in tzatziki, right. but you yeah. want to liven it up with some fresh dill. So okay. if you want to garnish that with a little oh. bit of fresh dill. Oh, before you do oh, it, yeah. we have to set the mood, Jigger. Right. Oh, right, right the mood. Yes, yes. Making yes. the platter without setting sorry, the mood. Sorry, sorry. What kind of that's mood do we want to set? Uh, oh, perhaps a summertime vibe? Oh, yeah. Just a little something to get exactly. into the crudite Just some crudite on this warm day. Whatever the time of year. Do you like this? It'll make your kitchen feel like summer. Is that better than my lounging dance? Wow, it's very similar. It's very it's similar. Very similar. <laughs> Not a lot of variation in the dances. Some common right. denominators to my dance moves, Dennis. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna garnish this with dill. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Uh, on that, if you like it, a little bit of heat, I you like can go on kick. with some cayenne or Ooh, chili right powder, in. just sprinkled over top. Just a je ne sais quoi. And if you happen to have a little bit of lemon, fresh lemon on top of that is beautiful. Mm. It'll brighten it up, be incredible. I mean, Beauty. it's prettier just by doing that. That's amazing. Right. And I think often people have friends that come over and they think, well, what am I going to do? I wasn't cooking yeah. all day. Mm -hmm. I don't have something braising for eight hours. Sure. How am I going to make something impressive? Most people have carrots and a cucumber, and they might have some other veggies in their fridge sure, already sure. that they can cut up and serve in a beautiful way. Yeah. So it's an easy way to not stress about feeding your family and friends. Absolutely. You know? cool. Now I'm gauging the crowd. They got so excited about the store-bought dips. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that they're the type of people like me who get the plastic veggie platter. Yes. Oh. Can we take that and make it look this pretty as well? Of course. I mean, <laughs> yeah. 100%. 100%. So we don't need the heirloom necessarily, but we do need to take it out of the plastic and style For it. For sure. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if you had a beautiful platter, sure. take that out, style it on that. If you have florets of uh, broccoli, yeah. cut those in half and reveal them. They're a little easier to manage Ooh. that way, too. Sure. There's little things that you can do to really perk up that And you just box. follow the same rules. I see you still have color separation, yeah. odd numbers. You've got three here. Left to right, so you follow the rules and it'll look cool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we so have the hummus. Got the so hummus. next up, we got the hummus. So what's the number one ingredient in hummus? Oh, chick chickpeas. Chickpeas, right? Ding, so ding, ding. what we're gonna do is bring chickpeas to a whole other level. We've got some chickpeas right here. They're washed and rinsed. So if we take that, if you want to drizzle that with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Drizzled. And then a sprinkle of the sea salt and okay. fresh cracked pepper. Oh, nice. Yes. See your salt bang, that salt, that's really That was good. nice. That she here taught me everything I know about salt bang. <laughs> salt bang, yeah. Salt you bang. Made it rain, that, Coach Tech. that was nice. And then you've got a little bit of chili powder Ooh. right here. And if you want to give that a toss, so that's going to go into a 350 degree oven okay. for about 20 to 25 minutes. You give it a little shake wow. halfway through. Mm -hmm. And they come out looking like this. Oh. They're crispy, they're beautiful. Those look good. They're so easy. So delicious. And Where have you been my whole life? OK, so these go. We put a couple of yeah, those so in our hummus. hummus. right yeah. on top of there. And then got it. last week, we, oh, we've got guacamole. Mm -hmm. mm. Guacamole is beautiful as it is. Mm. Right. It's soft. And with food, you want to try to add, if you can, some crunch factor. I'll call it in there. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we're going to big up the guacamole with some pomegranate and feta. We've got feta oh. that's beautiful, creamy, and salty pomegranate. It's sweet and it's crunchy. And it's gonna make it look beautiful. And the pop of color. I never would have awesome. thought. So okay. we can open these up. Mm -hmm. And if you wanna open this up to loosen it, you just roll it like this on a countertop. Nice and oh, yeah. firm. And that's Great gonna trick. get those seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you wanna cut that in half. Okay. We'll try not to make a mess here. All right. Don't they look beautiful? They well, look as great. you say, Dennis, we've just revealed the pomegranate. 100%. <laughs> and then in a bowl, you just want to give those a good tap, and that those seeds are going to oh. start coming out. Naughty pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. So I'm going to hand you this. There we go, Shahir. Oh, thanks. Of course. So, so this goes go on right top on top of, of the feta? Yeah. The contrast of color, look at that. Oh, and not yeah. only does it taste beautiful because you've got that salty, sweet, sure. creamy, crunchy factor going on, it looks outstanding. It looks amazing. Gorgeous. It, it looks almost like jewelry Just on top. Just a fresh yeah. banked pomegranate right <laughs> on that guacamole. <laughs> Who knew? Shahir, I have to say, I wasn't impressed with your dancing, but I am impressed with this. Wow! Instagram worthy! Wait, 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 Dennis taught me this. Oh! 
To like get an action shot. 100%. It's a little extra food photo tip. Okay. You're taking photos of food. The thing you want to capture is the story and the element of the human interaction around the table. So adding a hand in there that's actually oh. poking the carrot into the dip is going to be like, oh, you're a fly on the wall looking at someone's actual dining experience. Wow. So here, did you get your nails I done I didn't for get this? my mani okay. pedi this well, week. All so right. just Maybe just to <laughs> keep your toes out of it. OK, here we go. There it is. Beautiful. Nice. Amazing. Oh, Dennis, thank you so You're the man. much. Great. Safe to say, I will never get out my plastic grocery store veggie tray ever again. <laughs>